In the earlier episodes, we've spoken about assessments, psychometric assessments and importance of aptitude testing. Today, we are going to talk about something which is concerning the next step, which is the counselling part. It's interesting to know that we are getting a lot of feedback in terms of uh, certain ideas, certain myths that are in the parents' mind. They do come for a career counselling session, but with certain preconceived notions. Today's episode on career growth will talk about the myths that surround career counselling and try to clarify the same. Welcome to Career Growth. Today I'll share some of the experiences that we've had in the past few days. We had a parent who came and said, As mentioned earlier, these psychometric assessments are aimed at identifying the aptitudes. But please do note, these aptitudes are academic aptitudes and not the performing arts or the literary arts aptitudes that we are talking about. So we are talking about academic pursuits and not any kind of performing pursuits. So if you are interested in careers like sports, uh, music, fine arts, dancing, which is a hardcore talent based or some kind of a different ability based, the assessment is different. Till date, we do not have something to assess this. The only thing that drives these careers is passion and talent. So it will be nice if you could focus on identifying this talent and the patience and the potential that is required to pursue this as a career. One more aspect that we need to understand here is all these fields require some kind of training and this training can last for 10 years, 20 years and can start at the age of 4 or even 5. But there has to be an inbuilt talent that a child has. So a lot depends on the perseverance and training taken to pursue this career. Given the internet uh, boom, given the access to information and thanks to many popular search engines and a lot of WhatsApp forwards and content, it is easier to access information. So a lot of parents come with the idea that we will get something different, something new. And also, there are parents who end up saying, you are suggesting us courses which we did 25 years back. One needs to understand we are talking about academic pursuits, we are talking about concepts. So whether they are the concepts of accountancy, humanities or sciences, those will not change with the change in technology and times. Of course, the type of course may evolve over time, but the basics will remain the same. And again, we are not entering a shopping uh, plaza where we are looking at different colors and designs. We are talking about careers, a curriculum. Hence, there is a possibility you might be suggested out of the available careers. Our aim in Growth Center is to suggest courses and careers which are recognized and well accepted by the industry as in India as well as abroad. understand that the different careers will happen once you have completed your course or education. The aim of education and academics is to equip you with the basic concept and theory from which you will be able to develop and evolve newer careers. There are many upcoming careers which may not have a formal course available. You may have to do certain things short term, part time or learn on the job. So please understand that while we are talking about different careers, you and your skill might give birth to a new career. Right now, what we are trying to tell you is what is available and from there where you can go and how you can pursue it. I'm happy that we are receiving these queries and feedback from you and through this platform of career growth, we are able to demystify the myths that are there in your minds. Thanks for watching.